Now he's going to be a very hard matchup at AFL level. They cut off the kick in here, yes. Petrarca. That's a good play. Yeah, he just finishes with a goal. Just showing his class. Kick it, yeah, went with the head first, so no free kick. Petrarca, there's that strength that we talk about, and he extracts and goes. And he's forced to kick it under pressure, but Petrarca again with another good strong mark. Inside midfielder who, who can push down forward and have an impact on the scoreboard as well. Strength would have to be in my versatility, um, able to play down forward and, and midfield. Also, uh, able to win the inside ball and, and definitely my marking ability as well. I feel as that definitely comes from my basketball background. Obviously, you're always having a basketball in your hand as a point guard, so just always having that ball in your hand always correlates to, to football, I guess. I like to compare my game on Oliver Wines and Dustin Martin, just as that sort of explosive midfielder that can push down forward. I feel like I bring to an AFL club is that person that's able to play multiple positions, someone that's quite flexible and, and really coachable. We'll take the free kick. Oh, oh there's yeah. Petrarca. Well done by Walsh. Threw some traffic once, twice. But reading it well was Petrarca. Now he's got a runner in Ray Shaw. South Australia get some numbers yeah. there, but it was the right decision. Just kick it to your best player. My national chances were really good. I thought I had a really consistent six weeks and was able to push through the midfield and prove to recruiters that I could play in the midfield as well. I think I can offer to clubs just that X factor and someone that's able to, to impact games and win games off their own boot and just someone who's willing to work hard, I guess. <laughs> My personal name would be definitely outgoing, someone who likes to have a good time and you could say a bit annoying if you, if you spend quite a lot with me, but um, yeah, I'm always open for fun. My thoughts about the draft is, is probably mixed emotions. Definitely nervous and excited, but more excited than anything. Being talked about as a number one pick, it's obviously very humbling. You know, if I do get that, that chance to become number one or even top three, I'll take it with both hands and, and definitely work hard and, and earn respect off the teammates.